What's up saints? God bless you. This is Brian Love has a name YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to go through prophetic word number three that the Lord had recently given to Pastor Prophet Manuel Johnson of Mega Praise Ministries. Make sure you look down below in the description so that you can get connected with his ministry, so into and support him as well as follow him on his social media as the Holy Spirit leads you. Amen. Okay, so over the last week, week and a half, in the midst of everything going on and so many prophecies being fulfilled, um, I began to share with you some prophetic words from Manuel Johnson that he had over the course of three consecutive days. So if you haven't seen those, you'll want to go back and listen to them. Always remember, you can tap on your YouTube channel here. Just tap the gear icon. <coughs> And once you do that, you can adjust the speed. So if you feel that I'm talking too slow, guess what? You're in control of that. If you think I'm talking too fast, guess what? You're in control of that, all right? <laughs> you tap the gear, adjust the speed, get through the videos a little faster or slower, all right? So that's a little tip. And yes, I do want to jump into this word, but today there is a new spammer and a new scammer on telegram pretending to be me so i have to tell you <coughs> what to look out for because sadly to say sadly to say this spammer who's pretending to be me on telegram has deceived wait for it 60 people that's a lot 60 subscribers have subscribed to a spam telegram channel who has stolen my image my photo and put the channel name as love has a name 111 and they have 60 subscribers let me be clear okay and i hope that if you're watching this and maybe by mistake, <coughs> by mistake, you subscribe to them. This is not a rebuke, but let this be a lesson, okay? The Lord showed me something very prophetic here, okay? I have shared with you all that if you want to join my Telegram channel, the way that you can ensure it is the correct channel, there's two ways. Number one, in the description or in the About section of my YouTube channel here, click the link. That will take you to my Telegram channel. The second way to know is you look at the subscriber count. <coughs> okay, I'm going to tell you literally as of this video how many subscribers I have on my channel. I have exactly 1,944 subscribers. Okay, honestly, that's not a lot. So I'm not saying this bragging or anything like that. I'm literally telling you because if you join a Telegram channel thinking it's me, look at the subscriber count, okay? The fake account has 60 subscribers. So 60 of you are on the wrong channel. And there can only be one reason that I can think of that led for you to um, get to the wrong channel, okay? So again, this is not a rebuke, it is a lesson, okay? What you probably did is you heard me say that I have a Telegram channel <clears throat> and you went onto your Telegram app or you downloaded it and then you probably hit the search and you typed in love has a name, maybe even love has a name one on one. And then you probably saw a couple of channels and you joined thinking it was me. Just like the Lord said in John 14, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's what Jesus says. Just like he said in John 10, he says, I am the gate for the sheep. Okay, this is the lesson here for all of us. You can only enter into the spiritual realm. You can only access heaven through the door, Jesus Christ. Well, guess what? <laughs> you can only access my Telegram channel via the link that's why i emphasize it okay so i hope that 60 the 60 of you 
who have joined that channel will realize you're on the wrong channel. Okay, now that channel, what they do to try to deceive is they share my videos pretending to be me. They join my real Telegram channel and they also take note of certain people who have joined and then they'll try to reach out to you directly and say something, um, greet you in some way, pretending to be me. Now, this is a very evil and wicked thing. They are deceiving people, pretending to be me and pretending to attempting to use the influence that God, not me, that God has given me to deceive. Oh, that these people may repent. And if you're one of them and you're listening, I tell you the truth. The Lord will deal with you. You better repent and you better shut down your ch fake channel. If you want to influence people, maybe you should first get right with God and then see about creating a channel and provide your own content and so forth. But don't pretend to be someone you're not. Okay? That is what the devil would want you to do. Okay? <clears throat> so, I wanted to make sure you knew that. Okay? Um, I can't chase you down and, and I'm not going to join their channel just to bring you back. I've made it very clear how to tell the difference. Okay? So, I hope you know I say this in love. All right? But there is a teacher in me and instructions should be followed. It's, it's not hard. Okay? Just like Jesus said, he's the door. Okay? You get to the Father through him, not through someone else, not through Mary, not through any saint, and not through any avenue. All right? Holy Spirit is our only guide. Okay. Praise the Lord. Sorry about that announcement at the beginning, but I did not want to forget, um, and I don't want you all deceived. So let's get into the word for today. This prophetic word is dated June 3rd, 2024. Praise the Lord. Go ahead and hit the like for me. Hit the like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, if you don't like what I post or whatnot, you shouldn't even be subscribed. You shouldn't even be watching this video. So I'm not sure what you're doing. All right. At least the anointing is getting on you, but you really should um, probably go elsewhere if you're not enjoying the content and you're not in agreement. Amen. Or otherwise, it's kind of a waste of time for you. OK, let's start the prophetic word that the Lord gave to Manuel Johnson on day three of three consecutive days of prophetic words. This one is called. Uh, oh, there is no title. Excuse me. <laughs> this one begins like this. Manny says. As I was before the Lord, in a deep state, a deep vision came upon me. I saw a vision of a Red Sea moment. But it was different from what we read in the scriptures. The Red Sea that I saw was bigger than in the days of Exodus. It was huge, he says. <laughs> there was no Moses there. I was looking for Moses, Manny says. As the Red Sea opened, I saw a beaming light at the end of it. Whew, thank you, Lord. I saw a beaming light at the end of it. We were able to see what God is about to do. He did not reveal it until the Red Sea moment took place, he says. The ground was dry. Was dry. The walls were the ocean. The beaming light looked to be the Son of God. Oh, God is going to be the Moses this time. There was not a fire to guide, but there was a bright light. And then I heard, says Manny, I am the way, the truth, and the life. <laughs> this is not about the selection. <laughs> oh, snap. Saints, you probably noticed it already. Look at what the Lord just said. He just quoted John 14. I mean, literally moments ago, okay? And I had not read this. This was transcribed to me and sent to me by Sister Kathy. Thank you, Sister Kathy. <laughs> and the Lord just, he just tunes it. He, if for those who are willing to see and willing to hear, you can see and hear that Holy Spirit is confirming that I am following his flow without even knowing it, I know, it. I, I cited that scripture regarding the whole telegram thing. And then here we are reading, and the very same scripture is spoken in regards to the prophetic word. This is just a way to notice when God is in it. Okay? So, praise the Lord. It doesn't make me perfect. It just means, by the grace of God, I'm tapped into his flow. 
and I'm speaking from his fountains of the flow of the rivers of the water of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. All right, let's get back to the word. Oof. Manny says, as I watched, everything shifted. I saw all of the United States. It was beautiful. Oh, bluish. Oh, and gray. Thank you, Lord. Every single one of the 50 states had an assigned angel with a trumpet. The angels were all red, and I thought they were political angels. But the Lord said, no, my son. It's not about left, and it's not about right. I do not come to take sides. Amen. I come to take over. Wow. Saints, let's, uh, let's make that our first prophetic decree in the comments. God says he has come to take over. <laughs> and then the Lord said to Manny, Tell my children, against all odds, I am taking back the United States of America. Do you see, my son? What do you see? I see red angels with trumpets, and they're stationed at all 50 states. I presume this is Manny talking here. And the Lord then said, it's not about red or blue. It's not about donkey or elephant. It's not about Democrat or Republican. Amen. Next, Manny says, I asked the Lord, why are they red? And the Lord said, remember, my son, my blood covenant. My eyes were opened, says Manny, and then I saw a golden cross in the middle of the United States from top to bottom. I felt a strong presence of the Lord over me and the nation. The Lord said, those that I love, I chasten. Okay, let's pause there, saints. The Lord talks about this in Hebrews. I believe it's chapter 12. And the Lord talks about this in Proverbs. And I believe it's chapter 12, verse 1 as well, where the Lord tells us that he disciplines those he loves. In fact, it's funny because in Proverbs, and again, um, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe it's Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. In one of the translations that I have, which one was it, Lord? Maybe the NLT. It literally says, he who hates correction is stupid. <laughs> he who hates correction is stupid. <laughs> Can I just tell him myself? The Lord is quickening me to testify here. I was stupid for a lot of years. I didn't like the correction. There was a time in my life, many of you may not know this, some of you may have heard me mention this briefly, there was a time in my life for many, many years during my 13 year wilderness, wilderness season, away from my family, that I was under the spiritual covering of an apostle and his wife, a prophet. And um, here a few months off and on, during those many years, now they, they are unknown, they're not well known in the United States, they would be visiting and they would be teaching me and interceding and basically like, like the widow in the book of Kings um, had a room set up for the prophet. This is what I had done for many, many years, okay, 13, 15 years, something like that. And they always had a place. And so... I believe that um, during that time, the Lord was training me, but at the same time, I was so bogged down with work, you know, as I mentioned before, working anywhere from 70 to 80 hours a week, um, two jobs consistently for over 11 and a half years, some, and some of those years, three jobs, and a few of those years, four jobs. Um, mm, wow. And so during that time, there was a time where it got so difficult for me that I resented the constant correction from the Lord through them. They would text me. I would, I would see them from, from time to time because they were always in the room, always in prayer, um, out and about. And usually when I got home, you know, they were still praying. It's funny. I, I, could, I still remember I could wake up at 2, 3 in the morning to use the bathroom and I could hear them literally praying. They didn't sleep very often. It, pretty awesome. Now, there are some things I look back to it. I'm, I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure that that was God, how that happened. But even that, even that reflection is a test unto me. 
I don't think evil of them or whatnot, even though the Lord, um, we went separate ways a few years ago. That was of the Lord. It was time. Um, but there was a lot of the Lord that I felt that I experienced through them and because of them. Okay? Even if everything wasn't perfect. All right? And so, uh, bring me back, Lord. Why am, I, why am I mentioning this? Testify. Yes, thank you. Correction. There were many years where I was just like done. I was like, gosh, Lord, do, can I do anything right? Like, that's how I felt. Am I doing anything right? And I didn't like correction. And then little by little, I started to really understand. We separated um, and have been separated for a while now. And I just went my own way with the Lord. But when that happened, the Lord actually drew closer to me. And I began to develop my own relationship with him. And the Lord has been correcting me and so forth. And now I welcome correction. Because I want to grow. I want to learn. And it's a part of humility. So I share this for you. Maybe some of you didn't know that. But I believe the testimony in one way or another will bless some the very least one person out there. All right, let me know if that's you and how that um, helped you, if it did. All right, let's continue. We're almost done. Oh, the Lord just said this to Manny. Those that I love, I chasten. It's for a shaking, for a great awakening in our nation, for the church of Christ. Do not stress, but continue to enter into his rest. Okay, saints, I know we put that in the, in the comments before. Let's do it again. The Lord says, type this, the Lord says, <laughs> do not stress, but enter into his rest. We continue. And watch and understand, my children, these are birth pains that will soon, yes, soon, give birth to my divine will. Do not fear. Stay in faith. Remember, my children, that this is a transition transitioning as Manny says <laughs> I am repositioning many of my saints and I will raise them up to be generals and leaders they will influence many of the mountains of influence hmm. how cool saints look at that how cool how the the sunshine is coming on but see the Sun is something God created so he's allowing it to fill the room amen he is shining his face down <coughs> upon us. Thank you, Lord. So the Lord here is saying, these that I raise up to be generals and leaders, they will influence many of the mountains of influence from God's house to the political house. Of course, the Lord is speaking about the governmental mountain here. Remember, my children, keep your eye on me. It will look like there's no way, but against all odds, his glory will prevail. The United States will be a different place to live, a place where people will see that God's hand is in this place. Uncommon healings broke out. Uncommon wealth transfers. Okay, so let me pause here. I believe what Manny's saying here is that he began to see this happen in the future. Okay, this is why it's speaking as if it's past tense. <coughs> so he says, uncommon healings broke out. Uncommon wealth transfers, uncommon like you wouldn't believe. I saw dreams, visions, concepts, ideas, inventions, witty ideas going to the saints around the world. Lord, I receive more of this. Saints, I just have to testify. I've been receiving this, especially in the month of June. Powerful. I think I had the most, the most impactful encounters consolidated in one month than I've ever had in my life in the month of June. Wow. And most of them I probably cannot even share because they are so personal. Things the Lord is showing me about my future and so forth. Amazing stuff. All right. And the Lord is no respecter of persons. <coughs> so let us type in the comments. Go ahead and type, Lord, I receive. If there's specific things you want to receive, say, Lord, I receive more dreams and visions. You want to say, I receive more concepts and witty inventions? Go ahead and type that as well. Amen. Lord, I agree with my brothers and sisters in Christ who are declaring that in the comments. Manny says here, I saw that the saints, while they were sleeping at night, 
many of them were getting encounters. Then I looked up the number 47. The Lord led me to Isaiah 47, verse 1 and th- one through 3. The Lord said, Babylon will fall. Lord, the people want to know about the United States, Manny asked. And the Lord said, I have heard the prayers of my children. Then he led me to Jeremiah 18, verse 8. But if the nation turns from their evil, because of what I have spoken against it, I will relent concerning the calamity that I plan to do to it. The United States is about to be healed. Get ready, saints. The shaking has begun, and the best is yet to come. Ooh, saints, we have two more sentences to read, but we have got to put that in the comments. The shaking has begun, and the best is yet to come. Oh, I feel I feel like the Lord is quickening me to have you speak forth in a godly affirmation upon yourself. So saints, speak this over yourself. It's just so simple. The best that God has for me is yet to come. That simple, saints. Sometimes you have to repeat the same thing over yourself to encourage yourself and be, to use that which you have, which is power in your tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And you need to speak it over yourself. Because you may be somewhere where people are constantly speaking bad things about you, putting you down. And to be honest, that really makes me mad that people do that. So you have to speak life over yourself. And when people speak things over you and they say you're dumb, you're stupid, uh, you look like this, and I'm trying not to be graphic here, uh, and they just insult how you look, how you dress, what you do, what you can't do, etc., what you'll never do, etc. Try to not listen to it, but if it does get into you, you have got to be quick and you got to say before the Lord, Lord, I reject all those curse words because that's what they are. It's witchcraft. I reject all those curses. I am blessed of God. I am beloved of God. I am his son or daughter. I am full of light. I am the light of the world. Jesus loves me. I am his and he is mine. I am smart. I am prosperous. I am full of glory. I am full of the Holy Spirit. I am precious to my God. I am welcomed in his kingdom. I am his. I am fully loved. I am fully accepted. God has a bright future for me. He has great plans for me. God is on my side because I am on his. Hmm. Saying something as simple as that, as I'm saying that, I, I feel a presence coming. It's just sitting on me right here. It's just sitting on me, on my head. <clears throat> Lord, I pray, I pray, I pray your people will speak life over themselves. Saints, this is in your power. Even if you don't believe it, you got to at least begin somewhere. So speak it. Even if you have to abide in the fake it till you make it area, that's not where you want to live. But if you need to start there, God understands. All right? Go ahead and do that. Now, the last few words here. The Lord says, they will try to incarcerate. Pretty sure he's talking about DJT, right? But it will not stand. The Lord says, it will not stand. At the end of the day, they were trying to go into office for another term. But at the end of the day, there was one winner. Excuse me, let me go back here. At the end of the day, there were two who were trying to go into office for another term. But the Lord says, at the end of the day, there was one winner. And there was one loser. Amen. Now we know the winner is DJT. And the loser is Biden and Kamala and whoever else they're going to try to sneak in because I tell you the truth. I personally believe that Kamala is being used as a placeholder until they find someone else. Because 
with all due respect, no one in their right mind thinks she can win. She's the only one that thinks she can. <laughs> and it's sad. Anyway, that's the prophetic word, saints. I hope it blessed you. The Lord did a couple different things here, didn't he? He had me testify of some of my past, of the wilderness. He had me teach you, uh, share some nuggets of truth. There was some godly affirmation. Saints, oh, thank you, Lord. This is why it's important to flow with the Holy Spirit. All right. And this is why I ignore anyone who tells me that this is how I should read the word and this I should do this till later and don't give your own opinions. No. These people can go and read the prophetic word somewhere else. And if it's not transcribed anywhere, just like this one's not, then either appreciate how I do it or don't be a subscriber on this channel. All right. <laughs> I serve the Lord above all. Amen. And I will follow his flow no matter what what saints god bless you manuel johnson information is down below subscribe to this channel hit that like share i rarely say that say that but share thank you lord and for those on uh who who i mentioned about telegram please make sure if you're joined to my telegram channel that you look at the number of subscribers if it does not say 1900 and something then you're on the wrong channel you've been deceived but you can leave that group and you can report them, okay? And you can come through the link, which is in the description here or in the about page of my YouTube channel, all right? I can't say it any more clear. Saints, God bless you, and I'll see you soon in the next video.